Hi again, it's Kel and I'm back here in the kitchen. And this week we are making a butternut squash and black bean stew. And as you can see here today, I have my Dallas Cowboy shirt on. And usually when I'm making a stew, I associate it with football and cold weather. Two of the things we have going on right now in my part of the country. So this is the first time I'm making this dish. There is no meat in this dish. So I guess you would call this a vegetarian dish. So we're gonna be walking through this together today. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out and we'll see how it tastes. But uh, if you stick with me, I'll walk you through the process. Stay tuned. So in my pot, I have chopped up onion, garlic, and bell pepper, red bell pepper. And we're going to just kind of saute that down until it softens in about a tablespoon of coconut oil. After we get the seasoning softened, we're then going to go ahead and add in our green onion, let that cook down for another minute or so. To our green onion, we'll then go ahead and add our black beans, which I rinsed and drained, our butternut squash, which I have both frozen, which I thawed out, as well as fresh butternut squash that has been cut up into cubes. We're gonna coat all of that um, in the garlic and, and onion and bell pepper mixture. And then we're gonna add to it all of our seasoning. So we have salt, pepper, garlic powder, thyme, rosemary, basil, and I threw in a little bit of paprika. And you know I can't have any dish without just a touch of Creole seasoning. So that's all of the seasoning that we have put in here. I'm gonna let that coat that all together, mix that all together, let that kind of get going here. And then um, at the last minute, I'm gonna go ahead and add our kale. Before we add our kale, we're then gonna go ahead and add our coconut milk. And I said this was going to be a vegetarian dish, but I am having to add chicken broth because I don't have vegetable broth. Vegetable broth. If you want this to be completely vegetarian, add your vegetable broth. And then we're also going to add vegetable bouillon. If you don't know what bouillon is, you can find it in your uh, chicken broth uh, part of the grocery store. And I'm gonna add a teaspoon of this vegetable bouillon um, to our dish here. We're gonna let all of that cook down and then I'll come back and show you the final dish. All right, well that's the end of what we need to do to bring this dish together. So that's gonna sit over the stove and cook for another 20 to 24 minutes. And this would be great to serve over a bed of brown rice, but tonight I don't have brown rice. We'll just eat the stew as is. But um, another thing you could add to this um, to make this a complete meal is maybe a nice piece of garlic bread or French bread. So. If you make this dish, please tag me on your photo or your video um, and just let me know what you thought about it. And if you want to continue seeing more videos like this from me, please like and subscribe. That's it for uh, this week in the kitchen and I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.